Interesting. I see. First of all, uh, I don't want to take a victory lap on an illness, but Jonathan does actually really have leukemia. I don't believe it. You know that, it. right? I don't believe it. No, he's like, he's putting it out on Twitter. Like, he speak. I mean, if this is a troll job, then congratulations to him. Sure. But Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why I think I know it's a troll job? Why? Um, somebody in my subreddit posted that, um, oh my God. Somebody in my subreddit posted that apparently that girl that he got into a fight with stole like half her money from like a cancer charity or something like that. So now he's just saying he has cancer to like shit on her for what he perceives as being like her stealing mm. her some bullshit like that yeah so so the background on that is it, the girl's name is dan dangler and yeah, she, apparently one. she was doing a stream for breast cancer right so mm -hmm. if he was gonna make any fucking cancer joke he would have made a breast cancer joke where she said she's raising money for like breast cancer awareness whatever and she kept 50 percent of the money and she did bitch him she smacked the fuck out of him she fucking dragged him by his hair L ladies and gentlemen i am a male activist and oh my god hashtag jonathan too hashtag him too like my heart broke six foot six guy getting dragged by a blonde white woman that's like the stuff of nightmares like that that's the type of shit that wakes me up in cold sweat because i know like when people say power dynamic difference power dynamic difference like a fucking dude in a room alone with a chick like the dude is obviously physically stronger than him blah blah, blah. fuck that garbage Bro, you could get Francis in Gun, you could get fucking Thor, the mountain from Game of Thrones, and a white blonde chick will always be stronger. Because you see how Jonathan didn't do anything, she smacked the fuck out of him, he just stood there. I mean, I, I kind of looked at his pants, and I saw that he was bricked up, don't ask me why my eyes went there, but the guy clearly is a degenerate, he loves when women smack him, but at the same time, you know, my heart goes out to him, he has leukemia, and he's getting bitched by white blonde women. Uh, it's not an enviable life. Also, I realized that he's working backwards. Miskiff was CX's fucking cameraman, and then he became a streamer. Jonathan was a streamer, and now he's heel Mike's fucking cameraman. It's kind of fucking unfortunate, you know. He has much more to offer the world than being a cameraman. I think he has some great content, some great takes. Yeah. I would say that he's like... He's like the iPhone 1 to my iPhone 99. You know what I mean? He's yeah. still an iPhone. Yeah. He's, he, like, he still has more to offer, so... I guess I understand where, what you're trying to say with, oh, he's faking the cancer because, you know, it's the girl that smacked him and he wants to clown her. But don't you think he would probably say some shit about fucking breast cancer instead of looking no, at he also said Somebody in my chat just said apparently he even admitted on uh, Heal Mike's stream, or Mike said he doesn't have leukemia yet. And also, li like, listen to the video. This motherfucker's saying he's had it for four years. Do you really think Zerka keep his mouth shut for anything for four years? <laughs> fucking Zerka? Oh, he... Oh, he would have got them sympathy subs easy. Yeah, 100%. one million percent. He would be farming true. subs on the way to the doctor to get the biopsy or whatever, right? He'd be like... Actually true. Yeah. He'd record himself with the doctor talking about the Masons injecting leukemia into him. Actually true. You know what? Fuck you, Jonathan. You know, listen, I have a soft heart. And I was like, listen, I'd rather be wrong in, not, in you know, thinking that he has leukemia than just shit on him. And then he ends up fucking being a leukemia Andy, you know, true. no hair. Like, that's terrible. Like, imagine Jonathan with no hair. He's already developing gyno, which is fucked up. Like, I've seen the shirtless pictures. That's, that's a problem in itself. So, uh, when are you planning to have him back in the Discord? Because I haven't been seeing him around. Is he banned? Yeah, he's banned. That's why he hasn't been showing up. I tried looking him up. I couldn't find him. He's banned. Is One he banned? Guys or I'm pretty sure. Him. I think he just got kicked. And he probably just hasn't rejoined because he's, like, salty. That's my guess. I doubt he's banned. Okay, so do you know who kicked him? And is it Forethought? <laughs> if I had to guess, it was probably RTBA, but I don't actually know. I shouldn't say that RTBA is going to get mad at me. <laughs> okay, RTBA, Forethought. I think that, you know, listen, listen, listen to me. I don't, and I'm talking to those two guys specifically. I do not believe that moderators are the janitors of the internet. I do not believe that, 100%. I believe that your job is dignified, your job is necessary, your job is required to keep online communities running, to keep them safe, to keep them moderated. We need more people like you. Matter of fact, I think that Grace should probably apply to be a DGG moderator. She already meets the fucking family background. She seems like she's mentally fit to take on the position. Also, also, I believe you should be paid 10x. Are they, are they getting paid? Um, Forethought is. Wait, you're telling me one of your mods get paid and nobody else gets paid? I only have like two mods. Okay, so it's RTBA and Forethought. Why isn't RTBA getting paid? It's complicated, okay? He's not like an official mod. He's just like the bear. How long has he been around? RTBA has been around for like fucking 12 years or something. He's been around for 12 fucking years. 
Yeah. And he, oh my God, you're one of those like you're a contractor, you're not an employee. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work you 24 hours. Are you one of those guys? You yeah. capitalist pig. That's fucking disgusting. Also, can I just give a quick shout out to Kick fucking staff? I was streaming the UFC oh, fucking shit. fight. Apparently, I'm sorry. Hold on. Apparently, RTBA did ban Zerka. He just showed me that he messaged me that. I thought he just kicked him. Damn. Oh, wow. There you go. So I was actually correct. Okay. So can we please? I am pleading the case of the right honorable member of the Arbiters Club in which I am not currently presiding. I only oversee. I am willing to make the case for Jonathan to be reinstated. Are you willing to hear me out or are you going to reinstate him immediately? Uh, I'll probably just unban him when I go click the buttons to do it. So he's not worth clicking the buttons right now? Well, I got a, kind of a headache right now and it's fucking late as fuck and I'm tired. Also, I, I, can I just point out that glazing? You know my people watch you every time you bring my name up. If I'm not there, my people are there, okay? Like I'm the Court of Owls, okay? I run Gotham. So I know whenever my name comes up, if I'm not there, I get clippers. And you was glazing me, you said, you is an amazing talented content creator like this guy is gonna become a first of all it was disgusting what you say you didn't say i'll become a big streamer you said i'll become a moderately large like a decent size streamer like a 1000 viewer andy type shit you're like he's very good at talking with people he could meld into different communities and all that stuff listen destiny yeah. like i have access to docusign if you want me to sign a shirt or something or like a document and you want to put it on one of your dgg shirts you know i'll give you my signature you know that why <laughs> like don't be shy to ask me listen i know i don't respond to your dms every once in a while but I'm a busy guy, you know what I mean? I'm busy eating, sleeping, and eating and sleeping, and streaming. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm live every single day, 7 p.m. through 10 p.m. Eastern Time, on kick.com slash grantos. That's Q-O-R-A-N-T-O-S, and live on Twitch, too. But I'm kind of wanting to start focusing on kick solely, because, hey, kick pays the pills, believe it or not. It actually does, okay? W kick. Please, uh, train, do not ban me for saying that you did not make 366 million, okay? I, uh, you probably did. Wait, you don't believe that either, right? Let's let's just put it out there one more time. You don't believe that he actually made 366 million in 16 months, correct? I don't think so. Why would he lie about that? Wait, what, you think he you lied? You fucking dickhead! Oh my god! The switch up, you fucking cockroach! Did you just say trade has a fucking history of fucking inflating numbers? Wasn't he the guy when he started streaming saying that, oh, I have a BMW and I don't have a BMW? You know I remember everything, right? I got a photographic memory. Call me Mike Ross up in this bitch. What the fuck? Why are you flip-flopping? I don't remember saying any of that, but maybe. I might have. Oh my god, are you Grace's father? Is that why she wants to have you as a daddy? Is this like one of that manipulation tactics that you were talking about? Is that what you're employing right now? I, guys, am I going insane? Type one in the chat if this nigga did not say that. I swear to god he did. Guys, yes, I do watch Suits. Yes, I like to fucking engage in Warhammer lore. Yes, I like to fucking sit outside and fucking just look at greenery and shit. Yes. Oh, oh, do you, I, thank you, Kick Chat. Thank you, fucking DGG chat. Everybody's putting one. So are you saying that everybody here is a liar except you? Those guys that are putting one are obviously trolling you. So I don't know what you're going to say. Okay, true. Real and true. Uh, are you willing to have Mr. Gill back onto your streams since, you know, you cleared the record with, like, everybody that you were beefing with? If he reaches out, are you, like, willing to talk to him on stream? Mr. Gill? Mm, fuck no. <laughs> I'm good. What? Didn't you just... Didn't you release that tweet after he fucking released his... 99,000 page manifesto, whatever the fuck. So, like, no, aren't you a man of your word? It's still up, isn't it? Wait, but there were no caveats or conditions about taking down all previous fucking dishes. Well, no, but if, it, like, if it's still up, then it's essentially still, like, something he's currently standing by. So, no, fuck no. Okay. Why, you can go. Also, why, why don't you have Mr. Girl on stream? When are you going to have your lab streams, huh? I mean, listen, uh, lab... If you're watching this, I would like to have you on, right? I promise if Destiny says, BRING ME IN in capital letters, I'll tell him $200, which he'll probably not pay out. But listen, I'm willing to have a conversation with you, okay? Hashtag, you matter. Uh, Mr. Girl, you too, you know? Actually, if we watch Cuties together, then I will allow it. But prior to then, no. Oh, wait, are, yeah, you a big, are you a Cuties defender? No, I don't. I don't fucking watch the movie. I don't know anything about the movie. Speaking of cuties, it seems to me like uh, the Sneeko. Oh my god, fuck that guy! Like you guys are friends now, huh? Uh, yeah, he came in and he apologized, so I think we're okay for now. Water under the bridge. So you know, anybody apologizes, it's cool, right? Uh, generally, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty chill. 
You're a pretty forgiving person. So if Milo apologizes for the way he conducted himself in that debate in Tennessee, right? Well, oh, I'd have to feel like the apology it. was genuine. I don't know about Milo. He might be desperate enough to... Uh, so there, again, you know, why are you so sneaky? Like, I have to ask twice to get the real intentions out of you. Who the fuck is, like, so you'd have to fucking ascertain whether it's a genuine apology or not. So this nigga could genuinely be on his knees, be like, please, Destiny, I'm sorry. And you just look at him and be like, eh, not genuine enough. Well, if he's like on his knees apologizing, that sounds pretty genuine, yeah. Doesn't it? Interest. Uh, I mean, he is used to being on his knees given his, oh. you know. You know, I mean, listen, listen I, he, 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 he went back to Jesus and stuff. I don't want to inflame that, but I mean, he is a homosexual. Are they not used to being on their knees? Yes or no? Did I say anything asinine? No. I thought he said he cured all that. Yeah, but he did. He is he not still living with his uh, husband, according to Nicholas? Oh, so now you believe everything Nick says. But listen. Between Ryan Dawson and Nick, I don't know which one I'm a bigger fan of, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Jeez>. Yes. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, wait. Um, yeah, so, listen. Listen. I believe that what you do here could be improved a thousandfold by having people like Nick and Ryan Dawson back. But I understand why you don't want to engage with them based, you know, uh, we're doing off this, of your this history. One again. This no, again. we're not doing this one again. I'm just making a statement. Uh -huh. First of all, do not dare fucking talk about repetitiveness when your entire stream is the same thing over and over again. Like, I could probably be a millionaire if based off of how many times you've had the same fucking conversations about trans whatever. Like, right. let's be honest now. Come on. All right? Yeah. I don't know. I need to consume their uh, their content more. I mean, Nick is too racist for my taste, to be honest. Like, the way he comes at kind of fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. They're the chosen people of God, you know that, right? Where was I going with this? I, I wanted to ask you about something very important. Oh, yeah, is Dan a Zionist? I, you have to ask Dan. Dan, I'm not here to speak on his I, fucking political beliefs. No, belief. no, Dan will... No, look, listen. I don't know. Dan, Dan is the boogeyman. And whenever I see him in fucking discords, I duck. You know what I mean? He's got that power. Guys, just clip that part. I know it's going to fucking stroke his ego and he might, you know, chill out when he talks to me. But yeah, listen, I would ask Dan, but at the same time, you know, he's displayed to me enough that he doesn't want to talk about these things. But I just want to know, like, you've been friends with him for, I don't know, maybe a decade at this point. I don't know. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you would know, right, if he's a Zionist or not. I'm not gonna speak on his. I'm agnostic. I don't talk about the political beliefs of my friends. <laughs> okay. I just mean, like, has uh, he been? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm just, just like, just like, just like hookup stuff. I don't talk about that anymore. You have to go ask them. All right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, has he been to Israel? Has he been? Uh. I don't know, bro. I'm not here to give you his fucking travel history, okay? Bro! It's just a yes or no. Why are you ducking my smoke, Destiny? Because I'm going to say the wrong thing, and he's going to get a fucking fatwa against him. I'm not going to have that on my conscience, okay? Okay, stop saying that. You f you're so corny. It's like you learn. What's that thing that you use constantly? Fuck, I forgot. Anyways, mm -hmm. stop saying fatwa every 10 seconds. Listen, I've heard a little birdie has told me that he's been to Israel, and that's why I'm curious whether he's Well, then he's why are you asking me? Oh, you're playing games with I'm me? Look, now you're I'm, the I'm investigator, not playing, huh? I'm not, I'm not the investigator. I'm just looking for confirmation. There's uh -huh. nothing wrong oh. with being very, very confident in what you've heard, right? I'm coming to damn near the primary source since, you know, I can't engage with the primary source since he's going to fucking flip out. He's gonna fucking go crazy on well, me. Well, if Dan you would know, flip Dan out, like then that. why do you think I would answer the question? That sounds like a question I probably should Because you're not Dan. No, because you said Dan is not a streamer, so he doesn't oh. like to talk about these things, but you're a streamer. So, you so can talk I'm gonna about talk about Dan? I mean, you're not saying anything that's personal. I'm pretty sure he said it on stream, yes or no. Oh, well, you can go up and that? you can go and look his uh, fucking shit up then on stream. If he said it, it should be public I am record, not basically, that, right? I, I, oh, no shot. I'm not that interested in that. The only thing that interests me in that is the fact that he is actually the co-founder of Tiny Chat, which was the predecessor to <laughs> Man, Skype. You, you know? really like that Tiny Chat, huh? Yeah, listen, that's... that's. I, I mean, honestly, he's a celebrity at this point. If I knew you had the fucking founder of Tiny Chat... I would have just dedicated an entire fucking 10 hours of research because, you know, I told you I want to be an entrepreneur and like, mm -hmm. does it get any greater than being the founder of Tiny Chat? His uh, crypto business was probably greater than that, yeah. Wait, he's a crypto Andy? Oh shit, you don't even know. Well, I don't know if I'm, if I should even say now. 
Dan had Wait, the uh, like, Dan had the largest. He owned the largest crypto farm in the United States. Ah, uh, so he was just like a crypto miner. Yeah. Well, the people that trade and do that shit are losers. So he had the he had the good job. Okay. Uh, speaking of NFTs, you know what I find laughable is <laughs> when you're like NFTs are a scam. NFTs are a scam, and then you proceeded to take a fucking NFT sponsorship. Yeah. And your and your justification was listen. There's two, it's completely different. Like that FD that I took the sponsorship for was just one that was artistic in nature. It was basically like, hey, hold this NFT of this fucking destiny fucking drawing or whatever. And it is yours because it's fucking verified in the blockchain. Whereas you didn't fucking take a sponsorship with was a pump and dump, right? That was your justification as to why yours wasn't scummy and everybody else was scum. That sounds Correct? exactly, I think exactly like what I said, yeah. Okay, why are you being sarcastic right now? Because that's obviously wasn't my position. My original position was that 99% of, basically anybody that says you can buy and sell NFTs and get rich online is a fucking scammer. That's the case. That doesn't mean that all NFTs are scams, right? It, it's like, there's a million clips on my stream that you could take where I say crypto is a scam, crypto is a scam, crypto is a scam. Because largely, usually people say crypto is. But that doesn't technically mean cryptocurrency is scams, right? When I do a sponsor, it's not like go buy and sell NFTs so you can get rich, guys, right? If I did that, then it would be the same thing. Like there is still, I would take, a, I would probably take another NFT sponsor. I'd probably take a crypto sponsor, but I'm not going to shill a coin saying you'll get rich, right? If I'm going to promote something, it's going to be because like, oh, well maybe there's some utility to it or whatever, but it's never going to be like, go gamble on this shit and get rich trying. Like that's, in my opinion, that's usually scammy shit. But hey, if you think it's all you, the same, then fucking go no, trade no, no, NFTs no. and- Relax, Destiny. I'm so relaxed right thing. now. You're I'm not doing, doing anything. No, you, no, 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 no. Bro, right your now, mic you is seem... so gained out. I don't know how you could ever say that I'm the one that's not relaxed, okay? <laughs> Listen, listen, this mic warned me the war against Haas, okay? Which you've lost on <laughs> multiple occasions based off of Did his it? gain, right? Yeah, when he when he bumped up his gain, I was so happy because I actually fucking could let loose. It's like Rock Lee when he took off the fucking weight yeah. and I just increased my gain and I completely okay, dropped gotcha. him off. All right, this is, so this is how we're talking now then? This is what we're going to talk like? There is no shot, okay. you dare! You right, dare? Are you, are you serious you right dare? now? You're gonna tell me right now? You're gonna tell you me what dare? I'm gonna tell you? You dare you try to increase right your gain to the king? You, you do not even compare. You Save right your now? fucking audience. Really? Save you your know, audience. You know this. you are not greater than me. You, you cannot hear me. I don't care. Destiny, you are not screaming right now. This is a whisper to my ears. Turn your gain down. Put your gun down before I fucking shoot you with my bazooka. Are you okay? I'll have mercy on your soul. See, you, you tried it. You know what? I commend your fucking balls. I mean, I don't know if it's retardation or balls to even dare attempt to increase your gain with me. It's like trying to fucking wrestle fucking Brock Lesnar. It's kind of retarded. But, but, as I was saying, this mic is glorious. But, listen, I'm open to any sure MV7s, right? I'm open to them. I'm open to them. Oh, actually, Grace was like, she's going to get it for me if I enter a call with her brothers. Should I take that deal? Is that she's, a gonna, she's gonna do what? She said, um, I'll buy you the fucking, uh, or I'll send you the money because it's like, fuck giving you my address. Oh, yeah, wait, that's she, right. What the fuck? Yeah, didn't you get that mic from her? No, she said, um, first she said, marry me. I was like, hell nah. And then she was like, okay. Oh, wait, she's here's like, a question. What? Do you think she's gonna be allowed to talk to me one on one ever again? Oh, yeah, easily. You yep. think so? Because I noticed that when her dad left, she left the call immediately after. Oh, yeah, I did notice that. I, uh -huh. I was kind of surprised. I thought she would stick around. That was Yeah, uh, for a second or two. That was interesting. Yeah, exactly. That was interesting, but I do think that she will fucking come on and talk with you. As early as fucking tomorrow. Guys, Grace is going to make an appearance on the stream tomorrow, so do not miss it. Hey, it's going to happen. I don't think he's that retarded oh, to make it that Oh, shit. Office. Wait, hold on. We're getting Discord logs. She said, I've never been treated so rudely before ever in my life, so whatever. He's going down tomorrow. Fuck my deadbeat mom. Fuck anyone who thinks they have a right to interrogate me about my life. And fuck Destiny's going down. Hey, um, listen. The only man that could take, or the only entity, the only person in existence that could take down a snow bunny demon is a white man. So you know what? Listen, you've got all of the forces of good behind you in this instance. I'm not going to engage with this, but hey, listen, Grace, if you're out there... Uh, even if you're the devil, I could still do a deal with the devil like I'm John Constantine. I'll find my way out of it. Mm -hmm. You want me to... Th Actually, do you think it's a good deal just talk with her brothers and stuff? Uh, it could be. I, well, it's her one brother. John is probably the one you'd be talking to, right? He hates that family, though, so that would be an interesting conversation. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be more than down to have that conversation, especially if I get my goddamn fucking $200. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I will, and this is off of uh, Destiny's recommendation, not that it really mattered or not, but just in case, you know, I fall on my sword and die a glorious death, just know that it was the blue-haired man that sanctioned it, and I am innocent. If any snow bunny demon comes out and says, you fucking harass me, that is completely false. I am not into white woman. I do not eat pork, but if she's South Korean, you know what, maybe listen to her, but I do not harass South Korean chicks, I'm just saying that I rizzed up a South Korean chick a couple of months ago, and you know what, we didn't even speak the same fucking language. Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's levels to this shit. I could rizz up Koreans! Koreans! Did you rizz up a fucking Korean, yes or no? Dude, is what a fucking Korean, yes or no? What? No, could you rizz up a Korean chick? Um, am I allowed to use past? to inform future because then probably yeah but I, I i don't know what that means i don't i wouldn't just talk to a random korean chick i mean people keep mm. saying um people keep theorizing that the, all of this is a big act there's like pol there's like criminal records out for the dad so i mean like i don't think that not only the dad but also the brother oh i didn't even know for the brother i haven't dug that deeply into his criminal past i guess i probably should have a little bit but yep uh, I'd say this, I'd say this, based off of your performance on the Alex dude, the, the dating guy, I've seen your date with the chick. That was horrible. The one that didn't that speak my fucking language? Yeah, true. Exactly, so going off of the past, you do terribly with a South Korean chick that can't speak English that well. If it's somebody that can't speak the language, I'm, no, I wouldn't be good. I wouldn't even be interested. Yeah. I hate, I don't like that shit, that's cringe. Hey, listen, guys, or, I am well, looking I mean, for a... If, you, if you're into it, then go for it. No, I'm usually into people understanding what I'm saying, but at the same time, it's fun playing sign language and shit. It's, it's entertaining and it works on your people skills, you know what I mean? Listen, I am not this naturally amazing at fucking conversation with people, right? I have honed my skill through thousands of hours of fucking pain and suffering and struggle. Ladies and gentlemen in chat, listen to all the white names, please fucking put the duck, whatever fucking emote that is. I was like you once, a fucking pussy! A fucking introvert. I still am an introvert. Not so much a pussy. But I worked myself out of it because I knew that my dreams were greater than my fears, than my apprehension, than any doubt that I had in my soul. My dreams to succeed, my dreams to fucking climb Bro, on are Twitch. Are you okay right now? What? Wait, this was my fucking glorious speech to the fucking troops. I'm sorry, go ahead. My bad. You know, I would 100% fucking chop your head off if this was like Roman times. I would really? 100 billion. Does it really, does it really need to be yours. Roman times for a uh, Muslim dude to chop a white guy's head? You know, what? you know what? Do not come to the Middle East then. Do yeah. not do it. Do not do it. I wasn't planning honestly, on Honestly, listen, if you, if, you, if you came to Somalia, honestly, listen. Uh huh. I, I would house you. Now, I, I cannot guarantee your safety, but you know what? Life's gonna be decent for you. I mean, honestly, to all of you guys that talk tough on the internet, you could go to these quote unquote dangerous places, right? It's Somalia, it's not even that dangerous. Mm -hmm. So you could just go there and say, yo, listen, I've been to Somalia, and then people are gonna be like, oh, this yeah, if she wants to talk before I sleep, go for it. You just do that. Are other men in, in uh, where are you at, Malaysia? Yeah, I'm in Malaysia. Do they all wear hijab like you do, or when I walk in public, okay. are they gonna have their heads exposed? Yeah. Dickhead, this is not a hijab, this is a ski mask, number one. Number two, the man's hijab is lowering his gaze, right? A lot of people uh, are under this misconception that a man doesn't have duties. A man shouldn't fucking look at women. If you looked at Habib, for instance, the UFC champ, uh -huh. right? Looks away from the women that he's talking to, and that is a sign of respect. But again, some people look at that as disrespect, cultural differences, whatever the fuck. It is respect. The man's hijab is lowering his gaze. Anyways, if your blue hair would fucking make you stand out like a sore thumb, though. It's terrible. Terrible. Your blue hair is fucking terrible. But people will just laugh. You know, people are amused by white people over there. You know what I mean? That's good. And they'll be interested. Do you even identify as white or, you know, are you... You know, it really or... depends on the argument I'm having at the time, you know. Sometimes it's real convenient to be Cuban, so... I genuinely believe you when you say this. You're not lying. Oh, you, know, no. you seem I'm like the type of person that yeah. would do that. I'd be like, oh, what? Que pasa, dude? Wait, you don't know how to speak your language? Uh, very, very, very little. Disgusting! I can order you a cheeseburger what? with french fries and ask for change, okay? That's not bad. You, I'm curious, how does it feel? Uh -huh. How does it feel out of all the orbiters you've had, right? None of them eclipsed you except one. The one and only. The man that stands on top of Twitch pole. The man that everybody knows. The man that every goddamn porn star in LA probably smashed. Hassan motherfucking Abi, how does it feel? Does it hurt your soul in any way? 
Does it stink? I'm always glad to give other people a boost up, you know? That's how I feel. I, I mean, it was a disgusting boost. I mean, it's not It's not a boost. Have you ever been a 50 fucking thousand viewer, Andy? Uh, I think you better come up. <sighs> a couple dramas, yeah. Yeah, but the guy averaged 50,000 for a significantly fucking longer period of time than you did. You, you're talking about a couple of fucking streams here and there. Why do you think that is? Is it because of, like, you know, six foot four, you know, good looking? This, that, Definitely and there. those it... are the things, yeah, for sure. No, I, I swear to God, like, because what does he have on, uh, uh, what does he have on you other than that? Uh, I mean, he's networked really well. He puts in a ton of hours streaming. He tends to focus on, like, very topical, like, current events era stuff. Um, his current brand of politics is probably the most popular online. Uh, he looks good. He's, like, relatively funny. Like, you can listen to him for a long period of time. Like, yeah. I think he's got, so, like, a good combination of things, and he's positioned really well to take advantage of it all. So you'd say he's charismatic. You'd say that he's interesting. You'd say that he has a lot of insight that a lot of people are incapable of. Is that why? Oh, well, I wouldn't say insight. Oh, uh, elaborate. I don't like shadiness. Elaborate, please. Oh, I, can you ask me this? Morning? I'm so fucking tired. It's late for me, okay? <laughs> what do you... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Is this, is this like one of those brain fucking prodding, invoking, blah, blah, whatever the fuck? Like, these are not hard-hitting questions. These are like <sighs> surface-level things. Question for why somebody's a successful content creator? There's a lot of questions. No, not somebody. Why has Hasanabi fucking blew past you? Yeah, there's a lot that goes into these types of things. It's not a simple question for why is somebody like on top when it comes to content creation. That's a pretty, you can talk a lot about that, I think. Uh, true, 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 true. Actually, true. And speaking of big content creators or who used to be big content creators, Slicker. Apparently, Slicker watches you a lot since when I went in his kick fucking stream yesterday, he was like, wait, Karantos, you're the guy who debated Destiny. I'll fucking kick your ass. That cuck ass bitch has nothing on me. Which seemed kind of crazy that he'd call you that since, you know, um, People told me that you were nice to him in the past. Mm, I wasn't nice to him. I'm just not. I'm just not retarded. I understand uh, the addiction thing and everything he was going through. Did, were you one of the people that gave him money? Yeah, I did, but he actually paid me back. So, <laughs> W for me. Wow. Okay, so you were one of the only people he paid back. Interesting. Yeah, with interest also, too. So I like made out. I was basically stealing other people's money through him. So. That's insane. Yeah, that's big, actually for interest. Huge Wait, w. you charge this nigga at interest? <laughs> uh, I don't think fuck? I charge him interest, but I think I lent him some. I think he paid me back more because I was his like. So willingly. Okay, yeah. interesting. Okay, okay, I see. Hmm. Not that I'm like. A, oh, hold on. Let me. Now that I'm above charging interest, but I just didn't think of it. I, I am above charging interest. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, interest is haram. It's forbidden in Islam. Also, that apostate dude, that when, when Alba asked him what's something good about Islam, I would think that everybody would agree that the fact that we don't deal in interest is a positive. Ladies and gentlemen in chat, how many of you have had your lives fucked over sideways because you're getting charged stupid fucking interest because your credit is probably retarded and you're getting finessed? Like, come on now, okay? Lack of interest is a massive W. Uh, somebody in my chat said interest is Jewish behavior. Guys, we condemn that talk. Please do not say that out loud, okay? Damn. I cannot police your hearts. I don't know. I don't know if interest was a Jewish thing. Anyways, um, yeah, he also said that Zerka is a bitch, but he also misses Zerka and that he's a much bigger content creator than Zerka. So me personally, Jonathan, I know you like to watch uh, Lil Steve streams. I wouldn't take that disrespect from Slicker. I'd pull up on that nigga and I would fucking stomp him like the midget he is. But that's up to you. Jesus. Uh, anyways. Uh, do you have any last words, uh, little Steve? Any last words? Um, what's going on with this? Not that I can think of, no. What about you? Anything else for me? Anything? Do you think Grace is going to join this room? No, Grace is most definitely going to join this room. And you will probably face a lot of fucking problems with her in the near future. But that's actually exciting for you. That's good content. I'm sure um, you're looking forward to it. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I, like, I feel like I fully... Here's, do you want a secret? Do you want the secret? Are you ready? Crazy people seem interesting because they're not standard, right? They're, there's like something different about them. But more often than not, when you crack open like what's making somebody crazy, usually the answer is really boring. It's like some crippling self-esteem issue or some relationship with parent or whatever. Most crazy people just end up being really boring. Um, so I feel, I feel like I understand like the dynamic of this family now. I don't know how much there's left for me to explore or crack into. So I don't know if this is going to be another Lav 2.0 or not, but... 
Mm. Hey, we'd hope it's not another Life 2.0 because that involved you indulging in some mid Jew pussy as you stated. You don't want to indulge in mid, I don't know, fucking New England fucking pussy. You don't deal with 20 year olds like that, right? I don't, you, I know you don't. Okay, you keep them 25 and above, correct? 25? What the f? I don't even think Molina's 25 yet, damn. Okay, dude, he, usually we don't say these things out loud, but yeah, anyways. 